Hello, Free Sky people. This is Steve from Free Sky North America, and today we are talking about one of my favorite mixes in the Mixer library, and that is the Aileron Rudder Mix. And I was a guy who came to the hobby from flying fixed wings primarily, so I'm a banking yang kind of guy, and I didn't need a rudder. But man, when I started using the rudder, I really started to like how a traditional plane flies. That's one that has a vertical and horizontal stabilizer. And what I found is that when you get to larger planes, something that has a 1.5 meter wingspan or larger, it really makes a difference if you put some rudder mixing into it. Because if you don't, what you get is something called adverse yaw, which means that the nose isn't exactly pointed into the turn. You kind of need to have that rudder kick the tail into the turn so that the nose goes into the turn and you get these beautiful coordinated turns. Um, so let's talk about how you do that. Well, you can do that manually if you can use, what you want to do is you want the rudder to go in the same direction as the up aileron. So if you're, uh, let's say making a left turn and you're moving your aileron to the left, aileron stick to the left, you also need the rudder stick to go to the left, and then you would have a nice coordinated turn. Um, sometimes, you know, you get busy or forget, you're talking to someone, you forget, and you get these kind of ugly turns, and what happens if we were to just have the plane or the transmitter do it for us? And with Ethos, you can do it. I'm going to show you how you do it. You would essentially just Select this, put it in the last position, and what do you got here? Um, you got something that works on the output on the rudder channel. And so what it's doing is it's using, uh, the name is aileron rudder. So the active condition is always on. And what it's using is the ailerons to actually help turn the rudder, if that makes sense. as you don't touch the rudder um, stick at all. You can just let the ailerons take care of it for you. It will mix in the rudder. The way it does in default is that as it does 20% of full deflection. And you might ask yourself, why don't you just do 100% full deflection? Um, because it can get to just the opposite. It can point you right out of the turn once again by pointing the nose too far in the other direction. So you don't want to be super aggressive with this. And I'm thinking that somewhere between zero and 50% is where this magic number should be right here. Uh, the way that we have it, the active condition is always on, which means you cannot turn this off. Now, what I'm going to show you, well, I'm going to say this. If I pretty much have explained how this mix works, you can turn it on. You can use it. You can come in here after your flight and move this number up and down by scrolling with it. And, you know, it should work fine for you. I'm going to show you some more advanced features with this. So we're going to get out of this. And I'm going to delete this. So to delete it, you click it once. You go to the bottom right here and hit delete. Okay. So I already have another one set up. And I'm going to kind of explain what I did. I have set up on switch C. So the first one is called switch C up. But the active condition has this thing in front of it. And this is the negative sign. So what that means, instead of being active, this SC up is not active. As you can tell, when SC is up, the mix isn't working. And the reason I think this is important is because every single time you fly, you should have a way to turn the mix off so that you can see for yourself if you like it or not. So um, when I have SC up, it doesn't work. But the other two do work. So the second one is going to be SC mid. And what you have is a linear curve right here. And this is the curve that comes default with this mix, uh, uh, the aileron rudder mix. Um, and then the last one, I am going to get a little bit more experimental. And because I sat here and I looked at this and I said to myself, why would you ever want to have Expo on this thing when you have a perfect linear curve? What this essentially means is that... Um, 
as you start to, you can see it's a perfect straight line going from zero to expo of 20. So it's this is 20 down and 20 up. And um, as you start to move the sticks away, about halfway, you're at about 10% of weight. And when you get all the way to the very end, which you're probably never going to get to, you're at 20%. Uh, the reason why, if you're pushing that far in the sticks, you're probably starting to roll the point anyways. So, anyway, we're just looking for coordinated terms. We're not looking for tricks right now. Um, so, let's talk about how I would work with this. Um, the last one I'm going to work with is actually to use Expo instead of a, lin a linear curve. And typically, when you talk about Expo, I am going to just show you an example. This is when we talk about Expo for ailerons. The typically, what you want is to have kind of a deadening effect in the center, which means that if we were to use this, it's not really going to work until you're about halfway into the deflection point. Then all of a sudden, it's going to go like from halfway to full way it's going to get very aggressive i find that this is pretty much useless for what we're trying to do i want to do just the opposite i want to have it start to work immediately and then get to a certain point and then it's when you're about halfway deflected you're at pretty much full strength i find this to be pretty useful and you can sit here and play with this so maybe it's not quite as aggressive um, and it's up to you you can actually if you wanted to later on you can go in here and if you click on this you can actually assign it to a source and so you can put it on something like a knob and you can turn that volume up and down as far as expo is concerned and you can and see for yourself which one makes sense and as long as you're flying I mean I like flying gliders so I'm up there sometimes half hour at a time so to sit there and play with the stuff for me perfectly fine doing that um, but the other thing I want to talk about is the weight how do you know this is the right weight because 20% is what is assigned essentially what that means is that you're getting 20% of full deflection on your rudders and this is okay because if you go too high on this it will say you went to 100% uh, you run the risk of actually pointing the nose out of the turn once again going the other direction so um, I'm thinking that the ideal number right here is somewhere between 0 and 50% so I want to do something a little bit more interesting with this. I want to use, instead of just picking a number arbitrarily, I want to use my right slider to help me decide what is the best weight. So the way I do this, I borrow this from Adam Moss, is I use a source, go back in here again, and I'm going to use channels, and I'm going to use channel 64. Here we go. I've already set this up so I can save us some time. We're going to go in and look at what I do with channel 64. I set up a right slider. And you can see the source is a right slider. Um, it's always on. And then I created a curve. And you can see the curve is between 0 and 50%. And the output is channel 64. So what that means is, is I move the right slider all the way to the left, it's zero, all the way to the right, it's 50%. And I will sit there as I fly and I can actually move this around until I find that I get the number I like. So right now it's at 25%. Now we're gonna go back to this aileron rudder mix one more time and we're gonna look at this and you can see if I get down here, it's at 25%. Let's say that's the magic number for me. If I want to convert it, all I have to do is convert to value, and it's locked in. 
so then we're done with that channel 64 after we find the right value and then after that I can go in here and I can start playing once I've got this weight I'm gonna come in here and then I'm gonna play with the expo on here to see uh, what position I'm at for it would the expo would make the most sense and I have a feeling it's gonna be somewhere between negative 100 to negative 50 if I wanted to, I can go in one more time and create another channel like I showed you before and just have this set up from negative 100 to negative 50. But I'm pretty sure that this is just going to be something that's going to be on. A, um, if I were to use it, I would use a source. And uh, the source would be um, Expo. I would go in here and I would use analogs and I would use probably pot 2 and that's on the face of the radio it's one of those dials on the face of the radio I would use one of those and I know that I would keep it between all the way to the left and mid because when mid is zero and all the way to the left is a negative number and that's it I know it's a little bit more complicated than I usually get into but there's a lot you can do with this and you can really tune your plane in perfectly using the rudder uh, aileron mix and I do thank you for watching if you have questions please leave them in the comments